Hey yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Crisp Purpose back at it again with another Gems of War PvP team. So in this one, I'm gonna be showing off a team that can be used so as to counter this particular setup that I have right here. Now this team is with uh, Savage Hunter along with Fist of Zord, Sister Superior, and the Writing Staff. Um, this particular setup is regularly used on Guild Wars Defense and even in PvP and it can be very annoying to go up against this team. Uh, reason being, it is a double empowered team, so Fist of Zorn starts the battle with full mana, along with Sister Superior, she starts the battle with full mana as well. Now why it can be difficult is because of this troop right here, Savage Hunter can deal up to almost 6 times damage uh, to green enemies. Reason being, it has Eagle's Eye, place Hunter's Mark on enemies uh, when dealing skull damage, as well as uh, Toxic Hatred, deal double damage, a uh, double skull damage rather, versus green enemies and bloodless become enraged when enemy dies. Now this troop hits really really hard and if you have it entangled at the start of the battle, Sister Superior cleanses away um, that that entanglement and then Fist of Zone goes right ahead and casts right after that and then your team is you know scald into dust. Now so as to uh, prevent that from happening, I have this troop right here at the bottom. Now this right here, the Spirit Fox, is very useful um, in countering, you know, empowered troops that have an extra turn, like for example, Sister Superior, because right there it says it gains an extra turn. Now what your Spirit Fox is going to be doing, targeting down Sister Superior, so you drain her mana, 7 mana as a, as a matter of fact, and it will remove as well all the yellow gems, because yellow is exactly what uh, Fist of Zorn transforms into skulls. Right, so you're going to remove all those yellow gems, and then you're going to drain 7 mana from Sister Superior. Now, so as to keep the team going after that, we're going to be using our Doom Glaive up front, um, set in our Ar Archer class. Now, the Doom Glaive, you've seen it from our previous videos, is that it deals a particular amount of damage to all enemies, plus 1 per tempering level. And I have it tempered all the way to 10. Um, and then it converts all brown gems to Doom Skulls. And if there's a Doom on the team, it will create 5 more... Um, of those doom skulls and gain three mana for each green enemy all right so in the talents for this weapon it does have tangling so entangles um, when it casts as well as well as reaching and leaf it creates a leaf storm and doomed nature which doomed nature let me go right in go to the weapon and that's drain two mana from green enemies so it's going to be doing that. Now, so as to be a good tank for us, even though I'm not starting her in first position, is Ogris. Now, Ogris has a guaranteed um, resummon in that final trait, summon a fortress gate uh, when I die. So if indeed um, it so happens that, you know, the first slot is taken out and this is the only thing that's there, you have a guaranteed resummon there so as to back you up. Now, for the spell for Ogris, it, it is that it, pulls myself to the front and then stun the first enemy. That's very good because that Savage Hunter will be stunned and then um, it will explode uh, gems boosted by um, its life. You know, and I have a significant life right there. The HP is 125, so you'll get a big explosion from this troop. And so as to cleanse any negative status effects on the team, I have my Beatrix here. Not only will she, will she cleanse with that royal honey final trait, um, it will also create green and brown gems on the board. And that's very good for keeping that loop going so I can get to kill out the entire enemy team. And once again, Beatrix does have that opportunity of an extra turn as well as getting her mana back. Uh, it's a 40% chance. Alright, so for the banner here, I am using the summer banner from the Bright Forest. Alright, so let's pop right into it and see how this team actually works. Okay, so as we said before, let's see if we can take the 4 gem matches off the board. And then what we want to do, we want to get that mana away from Sister Superior. There it is. So as you can see, no gems for it to convert. Savage Hunter is actually Hunter's Mark. Nice. So we're going to match him. And right there, he's killed. Just like that, he's out of there. And then the major threat, you know, which is him, it's totally gone. Now let's see if we can get some um, mana to our Ogres. And see if we can get some cast going to kill out the entire enemy team. Now let's match this 
Uh, let's match that that green right up here. Surge. Great. So we have a three-way right here, but we're not going to cast it yet. We're going to cast the ogres. Bring up to the front. There we go. And we killed one. And now we're going to cast our Beatrix. Because she has an opportunity for an extra turn. There's a lot of her colors on the board. I'm just going to keep casting it. And if we have any four plus gem matches that we can transform into um, into Doom Skulls, we're going to take those. If not, we're just going to keep on casting our Beatrix. Perfect. Now let's check the board. Nothing that we can convert. Just a three-way right here. Let's take this four-way. Good. Let's cast our Beatrix again. Surge. And now one more time. And there it is. It's a very easy way to counter um, that particular team setup. Um, if you guys are, you know, wanting to do that when you see it come up in uh, PvP, you can go right ahead. And plus, as I mentioned before, this is a complete green team. So if you want, you can actually use this in um, in Guild Wars. And it will be very, very, very effective. Let me tell you, very effective. Because once you drain that mana from the Sister Superior, for that team, it's all over. She's the main reason why this team functions so well and has the killing power that it does. Once you drain the mana from her, the team's um, abilities is completely gone. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. And um, if you do, please leave a like and comment as well. And share this video. Share it with your guild. Share the team. And yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one.